Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I'm Taylor, if you're new here. Um, yeah, I just actually ended a vlog yesterday on Sunday, today's Monday, so I figured I would start another vlog for you guys. I actually have to run out here in a couple minutes to go get like something for Austin he wants me to go grab, so I have to do that, but I want to make a coffee, but my biggest thing I want to show you guys was I got this mug last night and I'm literally obsessed with it. I went to the container store and let's see if I can prop you up right here. If you can like see me. Okay, I hope the camera doesn't fall up. Anyways, I got this porter mug. I don't know if you guys can see it, but my computer literally sounds like it's gonna blow up over there. I'm trying to upload a video. Um, and it always sounds like that for some reason. I don't know why. Um, so anyway, yeah, this porter mug. And I'm going to make a coffee. But I wanted to show you guys like an unboxing because you guys watched Rachel Rocky. She had one of these mugs like a while ago. And I've wanted one, but I've never like seen where they sold them. So we're at the container store yesterday and I found it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need this. So it's just like this. It's like ceramic around here, but then, excuse me, it has this like rubber like coating kind of on it. Um, and I think the top's just like plastic, but it opens like this. It's really nice, high quality. And then it just has the little mouth hole right here, which I really like. And I think this is a really perfect size too, honestly. It's not too big, and I just like love how like neutral it is. You know I love neutral, so. Yeah, I love this. Oh, it's dishwasher safe too, I didn't even know that. Well, that's always a good thing because I hate having to wash dishes. Microwave safe too. I wonder what, okay, so this is the 16 ounce. I think that there's other like sizes as well because I know they have a bunch of containers too. I saw them um, last night at the container store. They have like containers by the Porter company as well. So maybe I'll try those. We just don't need any more containers. But so I'm gonna make a coffee now. Show you guys what I use. I'm gonna put this in the trash though. And then, like, like, look at my setup over here. Like, please look at my setup over here. So, I had to charge my computer. I'm editing a video right now, but I charged my computer, but this was originally over there, but then you can't walk through here because the cord's there. So, I have to sit over here and stand because this doesn't have, like, an outlet in it, which is so annoying. Also, this is, um, Austin's mom got him this when they were just in Indiana. It's so cute. I love that. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have to, like, move this stuff over because oh my gosh it's such a pain in the butt also I don't know if it's just me but I feel like my Mac has been dying fast lately and I don't know what's going on with it I'm just not really here for it honestly okay not me just like trying to make coffee okay you can't really see me that well but it doesn't really matter because I'm just gonna make the coffee anyway um, maybe I'll put you a little more here so you can actually see what I'm doing Look at this candle, by the way, you can't even see. Yes, I keep the Baileys right next to the coffee machine. Do not touch me. I actually think you're maybe supposed to like, um, what's that called? I use these reusable K-cups just because it's so much better than actually getting K-cups. It's such a waste of plastic, honestly, and it's just not good. So, I get these at like Walmart, Target. You can get them really anywhere. Um, and then I'll show you something else really cool. So I got this coffee thing at Walmart last night. It's kind of annoying me that you can't see what it's okay. I got this, not, not at Walmart, at the container store. And it's just like one of those like push things. And it comes with a little scoop in there too. I don't know if you guys can see right here. It comes with a little scoop thing too. It's so cute. And it just keeps your coffee really fresh because my mom like growing up always put our coffee in the fridge but then here I've been putting it on the counter and it's just like not as fresh so I was like ew so just fill it up like that plop it in here and I like that this is a sealable one too I feel like it will really keep it a lot more fresh Javalia, that's so loud, I'm so sorry. Javalia, Columbia. So good. This is the creamer I 
used Natural Bliss. The, I like the vanilla one, but they never have the vanilla one for some odd reason. Like, this is so chic, I could die. This is so good. And I'm trying to see, like, which one would be 16. This, maybe? Like, that might be 16. Okay, that's brewing. Now, I'm gonna go and, sorry, I'm, like, flipping the camera around. I just wanna get getting this for you guys. And then we get one of these Pyrox things, and I do three tablespoons. Let's stick for it in here. Oh my god, this, I think my coffee machine is going bad. This thing is like freaking exploding everywhere. I'm not having it. Fill it up to three, and I stick it in the microwave for 30 seconds just to kind of heat it up a little bit. I do not know what the heck is going on with this. Like literally, just look at this. See all this? It's like leaking everywhere. Like what is going on? I don't understand. I literally do not understand what's going on right now. And then this little handy dandy. If you do not want to have to worry about like washing your milk frother or whatever. Like I know you can get like the ones where you pour it in and then you hit a button and it like spins by itself. This little thing, I literally got it from Ikea. I think it's like three dollars. I know you can get them on Amazon. I'll try and link it down below for you guys. But I'm also going to link this quarter mug for you guys too. I know you can get it on Amazon. But that actually worked out so good. Yeah, I know you can get them on Amazon. And I think they have a bunch of different colors too. They had white and then they had black, but I like the white. I just thought it was more chic. And then I just take this, stick this in, and froth it up. And usually it like doubles in size. That's annoying. Usually it like doubles in size. I do it for like about like 30 seconds. And then, yeah. It is good. Also, like, this place that also wants me to go, he, I need to pick up food for his, like, bunnies. Sorry, my head's, like, cut off. He needs me to, like, pick up food for, like, his bunnies and rabbits. They're at his, like, other rental home. It's very confusing for you guys to understand. You won't understand. They don't not live at our house. They don't. Um, he has more than one home, so it's, like, yeah, it's fine. Um, they're at his, like, other rental property, so... They like don't have any more food, so I have to go. And he told me it was close, but it's like 30 dr minute drive. So I'm like, okay, that's so annoying. And then Austin's mom just came over. Um, actually, right before I started filming this video, she came over. That looks good to me. And. Uh, yeah, she came over and like organized the bottom of our like sink thing, which is really nice. This gets so hot, so be careful. And then I just pour it in like this. Ha! Huh, so hot. And then I just like mix it together a little bit and done. Boom, we're done. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys what she. I also look so disgusting today. I could die. Yeah, I figured I would show you guys what she did. So she came and like cleaned out all of this, put this down here, like organized all of this, washed everything here. And she actually like gave me this thing to clean the stove with because I had those like black marks on the stove. I didn't know how to clean it. And she actually found this like really good stuff. It's called this. I am gonna go get a bigger one, but it's called the Serma Bright cooktop cleaner. So yeah, definitely recommend this if you have like a cooktop like that. Um yeah I definitely recommend that. And then um what else was I gonna talk to you guys about? think also my outfit today is just lululemon leggings lululemon half crop zip and yeah but i wanted to talk to you guys about something um because you probably guys are gonna be like all confused on what is going on because 
the last video you guys would have seen would have been me talking about how I needed to go to the ER and I was gonna I was planning on going Saturday but then I had a really long conversation with my mom and I was just like I really think I need to come home and just get this figured out at home because my mom has a lot of doctor friends that she knows and just no one in Florida here is like really helping me out um, it's getting really frustrating and like just putting a lot of like stress on me and that kind of stuff so I am flying home I actually have to book my flight when I get back from the thing but flying home Wednesday oh my god that's so good I don't know how long I'll be home for I'm booking a one way um, I'm guessing two to three weeks I'm not really sure so yeah I'm working like I do all my work on the computer anyway for Austin so that's not that big of a deal uh, and then obviously YouTube and stuff, but um, that's no big deal. But yeah, just like so much right now. And it's like really taking a toll on my mental health. And I know I need to just really like get it in check. And I didn't really want to fly home because it's just like, it's a lot. Like, it's so much. And my life is like here and stuff, but it's okay. I do what I have to do for my health. And it's just good getting out of control. No one knows what to do. And my hands are now like really swollen, so. I'm gonna get that taken care of and then we will go from there. The only complaint I have about this cup right here is that holy mother effing God, does this shit get hot as hell when you do a full cup of coffee? Like, I gotta hold this down here like this. Why the fuck is it not coming out? I don't know, anyway, whatever. All right, let's go. I'm gonna take you guys with me. We're gonna drive to the. It's called a feed store. Like, I don't know who he thinks I am, but whatever. I'm so tired too. Literally so tired. But Harley just left. I already miss him. But anyway, all right, let's go. I'm gonna stop blabbing now and um, let's take a trip to the store. from earlier it's like disgusting but I'm just like I need energy right now I literally still have to buy my flight on Wednesday morning I haven't done that yet fun fact if you guys have been here for a while you know that I'm such a procrastinator when it comes to like buying flights and stuff like I would literally wait till the day before and just like pay for it it's so bad so bad but I'm gonna cook dinner now 
also gonna be home in like 20 minutes. He's gonna put chicken on the grill. So I'm gonna get like sweet potato fries going and then just like green beans, I think. So I'm gonna turn you guys, see what we have going on in the fridge here. But really our fridge looks like a hot mess express. And it's like driving me insane, but whatever. Like, why is there a freaking tomato? I don't even know. I'm gonna make it. Okay. Is the chicken. Um, what else is I gonna grab in here? I'm gonna grab a thing in here. I guess I'll do these. Yeah, these are really fun. Just like sweet potato fries. Um, alright, let me get this going on over here. I'll just put you guys here, I guess. I'm gonna see what the oven has to go on for. 375. Oh, wait. Oven. 4.25. 4.25. Now, oh my gosh, yeah, I forgot we got new sheet pans too. I'm so excited about that. Okay, I feel like you guys should be over here. I feel like you guys are like so far away from me right now. But anyway, I'm just gonna use these. These are like off brand. We usually don't use these, but this is the only thing that like Publix has had lately. I'll make these. This is probably enough for us. Might have to cook more for Austin for lunch tomorrow, but it's fine. I'll leave these here until everything preheats. Oh, also, I didn't tell you guys. We got these, like, chip clips at um, Container Store yesterday, and I actually really love them. I really love them. I'm not going to lie. This is trash. I gotta cut the chicken now. I guess I'll cut it right here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Can you guys see them? I feel like you can. Okay, I'm gonna open it here. And I'm just gonna butterfly these ones because I just think it tastes like so much better when you butterfly them. So I just kind of like stand it up on its side and cut it down the middle like this. And then it's just like two smaller ones, if you can see here. And then I'll do the same thing with this one, except I like literally like this right here sorry for vegan or vegetarian but like that like white thing in there not for me it's very much so not for me it's very gross to me and you won't see me eating it here's like another good piece and then probably just like mallet this one down like smack it with something I'm in the trash tonight anyway, so. Yeah. It just like flattens it out a lot. Like, see, like it's so thin now. That's just like how I prefer the chicken to cook because I feel like it just gets so much more tender that way, so. 
Anyways, we're just gonna stick the scraps in here now. Because fun fact, your trash bag will smell like disgusting. Okay, I'm gonna leave this right here for him. Okay, we're gonna lay a paper towel down now. I'm gonna take these. I'm gonna wash them off because I'm just gonna use like this strainer right here. I'll dump them in here and wash them just because. I'll like, up here now. Just because, like, I don't know, like, where they've been. No offense, like, it's really gross to me. Then we'll get it. The walk out. Also, if you don't have a walk, you need a walk. That's what I like to call vegetables. So good. Got like that for now. Um, probably not gonna turn that on yet, just because like I don't really need to. Um, I'm gonna put this right here. Get myself a different knife. Oh, oh. Kind of like, still looks good. Okay. Let's stick that right there. Now, like, we have another cutting board, but I literally don't know what happened to it. Oh, wait, I'm right there. I stuck it in the dishwasher and it broke. So that was just fabulous. Also, I feel like this vlog is going to be, like, so long. But I'm not going to show you guys me cutting them, all of these, because that's, like, so boring. But I just take it, cut off the little thing at the top, and then cut it in half. So I'll show you guys when it's all done, like, how it looks and stuff. Okay, so as you can see, I just cut up all the green beans. I have the heat on medium right now. I'm just going to use some olive oil in here. Just a little bit. I don't like to do too much. And then we're gonna do some sea salt. Crushed black pepper. And then I like to add a little bit of garlic powder too. Just for extra flavor. That was probably too much, but it's fine. And then... Mm, I'm gonna use a fork tonight. I'll just use a fork to like toss it around in here. And then you just put a lid on it and let it sit. It's pretty easy. And I'm like such a good fever about this thing. Like I always use this for all my utensils. I can't handle it, but anyways. This is how these look right in here. And then we have, oh my gosh, I literally put this front burner on, that's so bad. I meant to put this one on. Oh, that's so bad, that would've been so bad. Then we have the fries cooking in here. And then the chicken, which he'll do. I think he's about to be home or he might've just got home, so. Yeah, we'll let this cook and I'll show you guys the finished. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we just finished dinner as you guys saw. Um, I think I'm gonna end off this video here. I didn't even realize that like my day vlog was like so long. I had so much footage from today, so I think I'm gonna end it off here. Um, I just washed all the dishes and stuff. As you can hear, the dishwasher going in the background. Um, just chill. I have to edit a video, and then I'm gonna go to bed. I'm also gonna book my flight too because I still have yet to do that, and it's like 8:20 at night, like not even 48 hours before I'm leaving. Um, but then. I'll probably vlog again tomorrow and show you guys like me packing and stuff. Um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.